Hi, my name is Linda Chow. Welcome to Moi Sao But Me. I am supposed to be answering the questions that are on these cards. And uh, what I will be doing is reading the questions out loud and then answering them. What is my favorite color? My favorite color is purple. Now, uh, recently. Before it was like pink. My whole closet when I was a little girl was pink, 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 pink. Everything that I bought was pink. And then it turned to baby blue when I was in high school. And then now it's purple. I don't know why. Well, maybe because my birthstone is amethyst and uh, that's the color of purple. And also the Lakers, purple. And yeah, so good things come in purple. <laughs> There's so many questions. Can I skip this one, please? What or who inspired me to become a singer? I joined Glee Choir when I was in elementary school. And that was when I really loved singing. And my teacher back then, Miss Green, she just inspired me to want to sing. And she was fun, she made singing fun. But then, you know, fifth grade came along and like a new teacher came in in place of her and I didn't like her new teacher, Miss Flamingo. She couldn't even see herself, and um, hopefully she's not watching this right now. <laughs> I really, really became really inspired when I heard music out of the radio coming from Celine Dion. Her voice woke me up and just like, wow, who is this? So I like basically looked for any Celine Dion song that I could find. What is the greatest extravagance and my most treasured possession. Well, these cards, of course. I mean, I love these cards. These are my most treasured possessions. From this day on, I will carry them with me wherever I go. Thank you so much, Alakali.com. I'm just kidding. So, uh, what is the biggest regret in my life? What happened and why do I regret it so much? Regret, I think, is um, that I didn't start this music career earlier. People ask me, now that I'm in the Vietnamese industry, um, since I do sing in Chinese, why didn't I do the Taiwan thing? And I did win Taiwanese Idol back in Taiwan. And the thing is, when I won, I was 24 years old, and a lot of companies were thinking, you're too old. All they were thinking about was, we want an 18-year-old that we can bend and twist the way we want. I had a lot of people tell me that, you know, you've got to stay out of the sun, lose a lot of weight, more weight than, you know, now. Like, I think I'm skinny right now, but they thought that I was still, like, you know, a little bit overweight and stuff. Oh my gosh, really? What is a public perception of me that I do not think is true and what do I want to clarify? There was once I read on YouTube that, uh, because, like, DVD, Vung Sun, and Anaheim. I did two songs. Um, the song, Mia Zou Il, and then the other song, uh, Timeless with Andy. I wore a really, really poofy dress for that number, and somebody had said, Linda's pregnant with Jung baby. That's why she's wearing a poofy dress like that to cover her stomach. I just laughed. <laughs> it was so funny because the same show I wore like the yellow gown that was showing my stomach completely. So I was like, uh, hello. <laughs> but it was funny. It was really, really funny that how people can draw up these speculations just like that. And um, at this moment, if I were given an ultimatum to choose between the person I love and my career, what would I choose and why? I think, you know what? I, I really don't like any of these questions. <laughs> It'd be like, I choose the person I love but hopefully the person I love loves me enough that they would let me keep my career. My career is music and music has been in my life like forever, ever since I was born. So it's like, um, it's something that's in me and that's with me, it's part of me. And so like the person that I love should love every single part of me. What is my favorite song of all time and why? Can I sing it a cappella for you guys? Lately, there's been a song that I have been performing a lot because I like it. And um, the reason why I 
like it so much is because I heard the newest version of it from Andre Bocelli. It's Besame Mucho. And I mean, I really didn't like that song as much before he sang it. And uh, when I listened to his remake, I was just overwhelmed. It was just really good. So good that, you know, it's like, I want to do this song. So I guess if you guys want me to sing any acapella, I guess I could do that. Besame, besame mucho. Como si fuera esta noche la última vez. Besame, oh, besame mucho. Que tengo miedo a perderte, perderte después. Besame. Besame mucho, como si fuera esta noche la última vez. Besame, oh, besame mucho, que tengo a miedo a perderte, perderte después. So, how did I get into the Vietnamese industry? Well, it started right after I won the Taiwanese Idol. I got in touch with Andy Quet, or actually he got in touch with me, and he asked me, um, would you like to feature on my CD? And I said, yeah, <laughs> of course. I was so excited that he asked me. And so I uh, featured on a CD for him and did a couple of tracks, and at that time, Vung Sun was planning a video shoot in, uh, in Taiwan. And it just so happened that I'm part Taiwanese. So, and he was like, called up the boss and said, hey, I have this girl, she sings Chinese, we're going to Taiwan, she's part Taiwanese. Can she come? And so I went in, interviewed with them, and he's like, okay, all right, we'll give you a shot, we'll give you a shot. And he's like, you're gonna do a duet with Andy. And that was history in the making, and that was Ding My Bin Yao, that song. And after that song, that's how I became, uh, you know, Vietnamese industry, a singer for the Vietnamese industry. Uh, the saddest thing that happened in my life, mm, the death of my grandmother. That was a very sad moment in my life. And the thing is that, you know, her, her passing away uh, wasn't that big of a shock. Like, it was like, okay, she was old. After I found out, the night of, I had a dream of her in my dream. She was in my dream. And she was, you know, sitting on her bed. She would have candy on the bottom drawer, and she would always give me uh, candy whenever I came in. And she would always feel my face, because she's blind, of course. And uh, she would be sitting on her bed, wearing her brown um, outfit. Uh, and I saw her in my dream and the room was very bright white and and it was just very emotional <laughs> just thinking about it now um, the next morning I woke up and I was like mom I dreamed of grandmother and then she, she was like oh that means that you know grandmothers will always be watching over you and that she wanted you to know that so yeah, that was a very sad moment in my life, and I mean, it happened when I was really young, but till this day in my life, I still remember that. Okay, tissue time. <laughs> so, and because of that, I, I do believe that, um, you know, my ancestors that passed away are up there, and they're watching me. Okay, break time. <laughs> Something secretly about me that you guys, you know, don't know that I'm really embarrassed about is like, you know, I sit at home going, I, I watch, like I go to www.alecly.com every day and I'm like obsessed with them. So yeah, that's some, that's a secret about me that I don't want you guys to know because it's kind of embarrassing, you know? <laughs> I guess since um, I'm in the music industry and I'm in the Vietnamese industry and you guys think I'm this popular, um, something that you need to know is that I, was a nerd, uh, very quiet, 
very shy and um, I was never really outspoken and like this interview right now, like me answering questions like that would never, never be able to happen. Like I would be so shy, so scared. That was me before I started this industry and started my career in singing. I mean, I was really shy and just to myself and um, yeah. Hi, I'm Luna Chow and you're watching. Oh, thank you so much for watching. I'll, Thank you so much for watching. Oh, like, uh, you don't know. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for. Uh, what do you want me to do? <laughs> so, now that I've. Uh, so, now that I've. Uh, why can't I say that word? So, now that I've. Uh, so, I have um, these. Uh, the, oops. Never mind. Okay. Uh, what do I feel most passionate about? Uh, Crap, I keep on wanting to look at you. <laughs> <laughs> You're so attractive, you know. <laughs> I guess since I've already sang a Spanish song, why not sing a Chinese song? Ni wen wo ai ni you duo shen wo ai ni you qi fen ni qi xiang ni xiang ni qi kan ni kan yue liang dai biao wo di xin ni qi xiang ni xiang ni qi kan ni kan yue liang dai biao wo di xin